So I made this Miss P skin for Mini Tune. Now, whether he decides to use it or not, that's up to him. He did post this tweet the other day though that in chapter 10, there's gonna be some like mountains and houses and stuff, but he also said that it's gonna be a girl. We're finally gonna meet her. So it's gotta be Miss P, right? Anyways, let's get into the build. This is what I decided to do. I was gonna take Mr. P because he's a potato head and use his body and change some stuff around and turn it into Mrs. P. Now we were all thrown off when chapter nine dropped and Kona was pretty much like the Mr. P of the storyline now. Um, but I do think Mr. P is coming back. He has to. He was the most popular, uh, you know, character slash story part of the whole Piggy franchise. When Mr. P was at his peak, uh, so was Piggy. So it only makes sense that Mr. P comes back for the final ending, especially since a, a lot of the theories revolve around how he possibly spread the infection. And then now with the insolence here, we're pretty sure that that's how the, you know, how it got started. But Mr. P definitely had a lot to do with how it got out. So Miss P is probably the most, I don't know, influential character in the whole storyline. Because if it wasn't for Miss P getting infected, I don't know how she got infected or what she was going around doing to get herself infected. I'm not saying anything, but she's pretty much the reason everything happened. So, uh, Miss P is, I don't know, he's, did he cure her? Was that potion? Did it work? My theory is no, it didn't. Maybe it turned her into like some sort of like, I don't know, monster. So, uh, you're going to see here what I'm building her out. You're going to see why I kind of chose to go the direction that I did with, uh, this character because... I don't know, I, I kind of wanted her to be uh, creepy, uh, but also, uh, you know, like, uh, I don't know, like, like he, he still cares about her. So she's dressed up, she's gonna have a dress on, almost like a funeral, but a bride at the same time, if that makes any kind of sense at all. So uh, Mr. P obviously dressed her because she's infected, unless this was what she was wearing when she got infected, which means she's just probably creeping around a graveyard. That does kind of make sense. <gasps> Wait a minute. What if she was tomb hopping? I don't even know if that's a thing. Is that a thing? Comment down below. Okay. So now you can see that she's starting to look here. I, I realized that her dress was way too high. So I started uh, morphing it down. And also, too, you can see the pinstriping I did on the bottom. I wanted her dress to, to match Mr. P's hat as, as well as the flower. Um, I kind of did away with the idea of having a daisy. A, a rose just seems so much more appropriate uh, given the fact that she's dead ish maybe i mean I, I mean that's not confirmed but she is somewhat deady i mean because the zombies like dead the, the living dead I, 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 are they zombies we don't know are they are they uh maybe they're uh what, what, like i don't know what's like what do you call it a possessed maybe they're possessed i was like they're gonna say they're exercised <laughs> oh my gosh all right uh, so this, I'm not making a book right here. This is how I started making the mask out. I wanted to have a kind of a smooth middle, so I didn't want to have a harsh line down the middle. So that's kind of why I chose to use a cylinder there in the middle. Um, and I also too, I didn't want to look like, uh, like a, I don't know, I didn't want it to look like a hockey mask. So I wanted to make it look like an iron mask, like, a, like something that was welded together by Kona, like with some steel plates. You know, uh, and, the, and the whole purpose of this was is uh, to to protect you from a bite, right? So if if Miss P is going to be hanging around the laboratory because Mr. P wants to keep her close, then you know, then we got to have some protection on her face so she doesn't bite you and get you infected. So that was the whole purpose of the mask. It, it, you know, she's she's an infected among us, so she could either be chained up, which I had also I, I ended up using chains as well. Um, or contained in some, some sort of uh, some sort of room or or cell or um, or something like that. So uh, I figure like this, you know, Mr. P loves her. You know, this is this is the love of his life. He probably wants her close to him. So I, that's how I mean, that's what I would do. Right. So uh, instead of uh, having her locked away in a dungeon or in a cell or somewhere enclosed, I figured he could have her next to him 
you know, in the office or the lab or the room or wherever he's at. But she's going to have protection on. She's going to have chains. She's going to have... Ma oh, what's that about? What happened? Oh, oh, my God. Did you guys hear that? So my dog was laying down. And he was laying down. And he kind of, like, scooted himself underneath the... the that was Bruno. He was underneath the, uh, the, the couch. <laughs> and then he woke up. And then he's like, oh, my God, where am I? My head's underneath the couch. <laughs> I'm surprised he didn't throw the couch through the wall. <laughs> okay, I have no idea where I was now. Okay, yeah, the mask. So, so yeah, the mask is pretty much just protection from uh, from Miss P, so she doesn't bite or infect anybody. Uh, now, I'm thinking that she's kind of halfway cured. Maybe the the cure that that Mr. P is working on hasn't quite worked yet all the way yet uh it, it but it, it's working enough to where um she's still alive so that's where the, the you know she, we want he wants that's why he's still going he's still trying to make a cure he still wants to get her to live he still wants her to be around he still wants her to you know he still has hope and as long as there's hope and they're working on a cure then you know then the rest of everybody has hope now we do know that in the end that there isn't, uh, well, actually, no, we don't know that there's not a cure. We do know that they're still infected. Now, does Mr. P save the, the you know, does he, does he share the cure or does it not work? We don't know. I guess it's all yet to be determined. All right, so here's, uh, here's she is, she's infected. Um, her eyes just didn't look, I don't know, didn't look feminine enough. So I started to make, uh, I made her some, some uh, eyelid, eyelashes, yes eyelashes and also too you can see what i did with the mouth there i wanted to have her mouth kind of open a little bit um, it almost looked like it was a mustache there until i added all the drool in the and you know i kind of made it look like it was dripping out of her mouth i wanted her to i wanted that i, I wanted the the potion to come like just drooling out of her mouth like ah, i don't know she's like she's like snarling like gross you know like a gross disgusting zombie but also too pretty and beautiful at the same time so that was my whole like that was my vision with with Mrs. P. I don't know. I kind of want her to be epic because Mr. P's skin, let's be honest, it is so epic. It's unlike anything else out there. You can't just go make it out of, you know, anything. It's it's a special skin. I wanted her skin to be special too, so it's very involved. Um, now, I did rig this. Um, I, I did run into some complications with the rig uh, because I want the chains to move and all that kind of stuff. And since they're meshes, so what I'm going to probably have to do is I'm going to have to go back and I'm going to have to rebuild uh, her chains link by link. Uh, so that way I can rig her so where I can have her lift up her arm and, uh, you know, move her arms around and have the chains flow like they're actually real. Kind of like how I did with my Lionel and his whip. How uh, the motion of the whip is actually very realistic, like, you know, it whips around. So you're going to have to stay tuned because you're going to see Mrs. P live in action in my upcoming RP film that should be dropping in... I'm not sure exactly because I'm on vacation right now and it's really hard to get good internet connection to, to get it done. But I will be dropping all these uh what do you call these leaks and builds uh, along the way just to keep you guys excited uh for what's to come because it is truly going to be uh something like you've never seen before uh, i hope you guys like this mrs p if you guys are new here make sure you guys subscribe uh like this video if you guys like the build uh, it helps me out it really does also too let me know what you think in the comment section i really like to know i'm dexter plays thank you so much for watching